Yahweh. This is my name forever. A brief history of the name in 10 points. In the ancient Middle East, the generic name for God and for gods was El. Has not one God, El, created us? Variant forms of El include Elim, Eloa, Elohim, Elyon, Eli. Pagans also believed in lesser gods called sons of God. In the second millennium BCE, El revealed himself as El Shaddai, God Almighty, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. The Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, El Shaddai, walk before me, and be blameless. Pagans at that time believed that El dwelt in mountains called Shadu. About 1046 BCE, El Shaddai revealed to the prophet Moses his personal name, Yahweh. God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord, Yahweh. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, as God Almighty, but by my name the Lord, Yahweh, I did not make myself known to them. Pagans, however, did not know this name. According to the Torah, Yahweh himself revealed that his name, Yahweh, derives from to be. God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower, the righteous man runs into it and is safe. Yahweh remains the name of the one true God forever. God also said to Moses, Say this to the people of Israel, the Lord, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and thus I am to be remembered throughout all generations. The name Yahweh has been translated into other languages in various ways. The Lord, Jehovah, Le Seigneur, L'Eternel, Duhan, Ehei Hua, and many others. Yahweh has promised salvation to those who call upon his name. It shall come to pass that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, shall be saved. They will call upon my name, and I will answer them. I will say, They are my people, and they will say, The Lord, Yahweh, is my God. In ancient times, although invisible, Yahweh sometimes showed himself to men in the form of a powerful angel. The angel of the Lord, Yahweh, appeared to him and said to him, The Lord, Yahweh, is with you, O mighty man of valor. The angel of the Lord, Yahweh, appeared to the woman and said to her, Behold, you are barren and have not born children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. About the 4th century BCE, most Jews ceased pronouncing the name Yahweh, usually employing the name Adonai, my Lord, in its stead. In the 3rd century BCE, when the Hebrew scriptures were translated into the Greek language, the name Yahweh was translated as Kyrios, Lord. In the first century CE, Yahweh revealed himself in tangible form by being born as a human being, 
named Yeshuach, Greek Jesus, or Jesus. Thus the Greek New Testament of the Holy Bible promises, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that is, Yahweh, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. When Jesus shall return from heaven to earth, he will fulfill many prophecies about Yahweh. For example, The Lord, Yahweh, will go out and fight against those nations as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives, that lies before Jerusalem on the east. 